So, Kick-Ass is an action comedy about a high school student who, you know, notices that no one ever tries to become a superhero, even though there's all these people that love comic books. And, you know, he's a bit of a nobody. He's not really a loser, like a nerd, or he doesn't really fit into any group, and he even says there's nothing special about himself. He's just like any other teenager. He's just normal, but he wonders why no one's tried to be a superhero, and he decides to try it himself. He buys some special scuba gear off of a like website and he goes out and tries to stop some petty crimes and start some shit and gets himself in some trouble he you know he get, he gets caught on uh you know someone records him on like a phone or something on camera and becomes like a youtube sensation everyone loves this guy <clears throat> and he draws the attention of a real vigilante father and daughter team who are trying to like stop big crimes without giving too much away and they they uh, they admire what he's doing and they want to protect him now it, this movie gets off to a very good start very sharp very funny very relatable just it draws you in and it's fun before it starts running into some problems um, but overall I really enjoyed the movie and I had a lot of fun with it, so I'm giving it a recommendation. I fall into the camp of people. Uh, I understand why it was a hit, why people liked it, and I'm in that camp with them. Now, uh, you know, in the beginning, like I said, it gets off to a very good start. Like, uh, you know, he decides to start doing some shit, and it's funny, and it, it it's fun, and then it runs into like. Here's what the critics said about it. The critics, like, reviews, I think, were all over the board for this. Like, people kind of either loved it or hated it. But the people that hated it said that the tone is all over the place. Um, I would agree with that. The tone is all over the place. You know, they said that it didn't know whether it wanted to be funny or serious. And that's kind of true. It, it kind of walks the line in between. And I think that younger generations will kind of have an easier time with that than older people. But I still think that that's a problem. I think that tone is important to a movie. I would, you know, what if uh, The Dark Knight had some goofy cop characters in it walking around like, hoo, 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 and they're like co comedic relief. It would have really hurt the movie. Um, but at the same time, I like mishmashes of genres and I think the action comedy genre is something that like sometimes rubs uh, critics the wrong way like they just they can't deal with it you know and this is in this movie like there's comedy in it and there's humor and it's overall kind of lighthearted but it has ultra violence in it and a lot of critics don't go for that and I, I would agree that with the critics that that could be done very badly and it could make a movie fall apart. But I think in the uh, Kick-Ass, it just kind of has this fun, pulpy vibe. Like young, modern, pulpy, kind of Pulp Fiction-ish vibe. Where I think it does walk that tightrope and it, it gets the job done and it's fun. It doesn't... There's never like... There are a few parts where there's violence I was like, whoa... I didn't think that would happen, but it still maintains its fun. It never, it never like took me out of it. It was like, oh, this is bad. You know, I mean, I, I appreciated it. After a while, I mean, I would say that there are some problems with it, and I'll go into that. But the other criticism is uh, that hit girl, the little girl in the center. I want to get her name because she's very good in it, and she's this is gonna make her a star. She basically was the star of the movie. Uh, this little girl called Chloe Moretz, who plays the, in the vigilante uh, father-daughter, you know, situation. It's like Nick Cage is her father. He's training her to go kill bad guys. I don't want to ruin too much, it's, but uh, a lot of critics said that like she was like sexualized in it, and she's this little girl. And they didn't like the fact that she's using cuss words and stuff. I don't know. I don't know where I, f I fall on that. I think she is kind of sexualized. But I think if you're getting any real kick out of it, 
Like if it's, you know, you're like, oh, God, jack it to this little girl. You're the one with the problem. I think, you know, the sexualization of her and the fact that she cusses and she could kick ass is part of what makes her character so fun why people loved her character. Um, she is a, just a cool character that will become like an icon, I think. But other than that, I thought this is a fun ride throughout. I liked, I really like the premise. It taps into this, I don't know, I guess this, uh, this feeling that's in a lot of people that, and you see this in other movies, you see it in Seven. You know, everyone's apathetic. No one wants to help out someone else that's in trouble. And you have this main character, this high school kid, who is, uh, Dave Lizuski slash Kickass, played by Aaron Johnson, who he wonders why no one ever tries to help each other out, and he he thinks that it's wrong that people don't help each other out. I like that. I like that premise. And I like the idea that there is like a real uh, father and daughter, daughter vigilante team out there, and they would like try to protect him and bring him into what they're doing. And the movie's fun. It, it, it's fun. The action is good. I mean, I know that you know, critics are like, oh, it's too violent because it messes up the tone, but I don't mind. I, I thought it, I was entertained. Every action scene that I saw, I was entertained in it. To me, like the, the, the real problem with it does have to do with the tone a little bit. And that's that the criminals are cartoony. They're, it's the same thing in every comic book movie you see. The mafia characters, the bad guys, the organized crime bad guys are just too cartoony and generic. You never feel like they're actually scary or smart or cunning or dangerous like they really are. And here, in this movie, they are violent and dangerous, but there's still that like cartoony element to the, to the bad guys. And they're underdeveloped, except for one bad guy. Who I don't want to say any more than that. You know, there's one bad guy who is a bigger character, but he's still almost more for comedic relief. And I don't know what did I want him to do with it. I mean, I just, I just wish that the for once the the bad guys were as interesting as the good guys in an action comedy. They're always just... They're just targets. And they're they're goofballs. Um, it's just... I don't know. It, it, for once, I would like them to be as developed and, and interesting as the good guys are here. Well, they are interesting. And there's also the... I guess the side plot, but it really drives the movie of why the father and daughter who approach kick ass, why they're fighting crime and what their ultimate goal is. And it's interesting, but I wish that was also developed a little bit more. It's just kind of really quickly brushed over. And, uh, I don't know though. I mean, overall, I think it's able to overcome those problems. I think some people won't even see those as problems. But it does make the movie feel a little like a little hollow in the core. There should be a little more going on there. But I mean, like I said, I had a fun time with it. Uh, the action's fun. The premise is fun. The characters are fun. It's just a... There, once it really starts getting going, like the first half hour is great. Once it really gets going, there are problems with it. Um, but overall, I think this is a movie that you should check out. I, I really had a good time with it. I loved it to, despite any flaws I, I had with it. Um, I'm going to give it like three and a half out of five stars, but I'd almost go all the way up to four. It is fun. I think that most people that skew towards a younger demographic, like if you're 30 and under, you're going to really love this. Probably if you're 40 and under, you're going to love it. 
and even if you have problems with it, you'll you'll enjoy it. So uh, check out Kick Ass if you haven't already. I'm sure most of you already have.